All right. Okay, audio is good. So, good morning, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. That boy. Uh, I gotta try to stop eating so much ice cream, but it's just so freaking hot out here, man. Man, the weather's been good for the past, like, few days since last late last week, but, man. Yeah. Nah. Well, anyway, first off, rip an F. Rest in peace for Shinzo Abe. Poor guy got assassinated, and they obviously caught the attacker who didn't bother fleeing. So, I don't know what's going on, but between all the chaos that's going on in the world, I mean, it's gotta be a combination of, like, distractions and, like, globalists just lashing out, and maybe just random crazy people lashing out, too. So, I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll see uh, what the motive is. Um, I'll know it's a lone wolf if they let the person live, right? So the person just says whatever, and then I'll disregard it, unless it's, like, you know, he just didn't like the guy. Or, if he gets assassinated, then I definitely know it's a globalist conspiracy, right? It's JFK-style stuff. So, you know, wouldn't be hard to put two and two together for that. You know, it's one of the reasons why I don't even bother with the whole Joe Biden shit, especially since, uh, yeah, the Biden admin is, like, corrupt and sending oil to, like, China and shit. Yeah. Okay, so what are we going to do about it? Oh, you just want to tweet about it, complain about it, and then grift off that shit. It's like, I'm just so sick and tired of, like, this dumb shit that I, I'm seeing. Because we all know what's wrong, and nothing, and nobody's held accountable. Except, like, right-wing people who pose a threat to the system. It's like, it's like it just it's just so aggravating. So, you know. That's just how it goes. But, alright. Well, the markets will do what they normally do. Okay, so for the most part, um, it does look like today will be a down day. Now, we did, we've we had a few days where the markets have gone straight up, but now maybe we might be on the way back down. I definitely thought there was a red flag because cryptocurrencies were going way up, but the stock markets were continuing to go down. So it's like, okay, there's definitely some distortions, and then the Shinzo Abe assassination occurred. So that took all my attention last night, and then I had to go to bed. Um, so jobs, jobs supposedly went much stronger in June, quote unquote, but I mean, I know the economy is still cratering, so I'm going to wait for Greg to, you know, go through the numbers, but from what I can tell, the markets are still calling BS. All right. So yeah, so markets are down. Uh, it looks like quite, quite a bit. Markets are down. Okay, especially the NASDAQ, so that means cryptocurrency should be tanking uh, any second now as well. In fact, they've, they're already off their $22,200 Bitcoin low. Okay, so works for me. I shouldn't even be green, the Bitcoin. All right, so markets are having a, debt markets, I should say, are having a slight sell-off. All right, well, I don't know I should call it slight. Maybe I'll call it a, a small, medium... Uh, sell off, right? So not quite moderate, because uh, you know, I guess maybe it's a moderate, right? But you know, it's a nice chunk. It's a nice chunk. Nothing crazy yet, but you know, it's kind of getting there. Dollar, of course. I haven't been talking about the dollar, all right? But this because all the other stuff. But yeah, it's uh, it's a little stronger today. So after it went down yesterday. All right. So I don't know why I'm still on this guy's thing here. Right, let's see, what is good old crypto doing? So we're going to actually do two videos today, because uh, I didn't even think I'd be covering any kind of crypto project, but there's actually a good one, right, called Staple Fund, right? I actually was told about it in the Elite Discord, which we hardly even talk anymore because there's just nothing going on out there. Uh, but yeah, it does check out, you know, so we'll talk more about that in a sec. Yeah, so I mean, I'm seeing a slight dip in crypto, nothing too crazy yet, but again, the 24-hour volume, I mean, it did, it did improve over, over the past couple of days, right, as, you know, the U.S. trading hour was right, uh, right in the middle of the trading hours, right, peaked at around 84, 85 billion, but nothing major. Then it comes back down a lot. So again, I'm not seeing too much crazy pressure, and then crypto capo is still, they were... Uh, uh, yeah, I don't care about the Large Hadron Collider. I mean, I make jokes about it, but that's all it is, just a joke. I mean, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, there's something weird going on in Canada, too. I'm like, the first thing I'm thinking now is, is it, is it sabotage or something? Uh, God, I'm gonna have to go into here. Um, let's take a look. 
Crypto Capo. Yeah, I've decided to start following the, the Chinese like social media guy from, from China, right? Because he uh, he definitely knows how to post the facts that, you know, even our so-called right-wing influencers will not, you know, post. So that's, and it's just like very aggravating because everyone's just fucking dishonest here. So I don't know. I don't want to even say anything more. I don't want to accidentally flag this video. Okay, so... Because I need to mention, like, a certain person that, like, you can't even mention his name. Right? Because he's banned from, like, just about everywhere. Okay, so... Uh, spoofing orders. Yeah, so he's saying, like, Kraken and FTX and, like, other places are spoofing orders. So it's, like, fake buy orders or fake sell orders. So it's technically... It's actually illegal. But in crypto, because there's technically no regulations or very little... Uh, they, there's probably nothing on the books about spoofing. But if there were, that would probably make spoofing illegal, for sure. All right, and he's saying there's a consolidation. I mean, I'm personally getting kind of annoyed with this crypto capital guy because it's just starting to look like a cope to me, all right? But on the other hand, he's not exactly wrong just yet, all right? But the thing is, he's not mentioning any of the things that we look at, all right? There's only one reason why crypto is going to go down. It's because of the U.S. debt markets. All the money and good life that you now enjoy, that I enjoy, that all our friends and families enjoys, is because of the central banks. That is what I think is happening. And because that's the case, when, the central, when things come down, that's also the central banks. Now, it occurred to me that I think this is just a natural cycle of humanity. We have booms and we have busts. This, ha this phenomenon has occurred long before central banking was even a thing. Right? That's just because greed, humans are what? Greedy, and then they're fearful. When they're greedy, they buy everything up. And because they're greedy, they'll buy things up at over value, which is called a what? A bubble. Oh, and then at some point, people will be like, oh, I'm afraid of losing all these gains. I better pull my profits. So they start dumping. And now greed suddenly turns into fear. Greed and fear, up and down. I mean, that's just the way it goes. Uh, also, yeah, it's all BS about the Twitter in peril deal. It's just like, I mean, the globals are just so stupid. Like, oh God, I'm getting so sick. I'm getting literally sick and tired of this Western shit. It's like, uh, that's the thing. All right, so with that being said, um, basically, cryptocurrency is going to do exactly what Crypto Capo is saying it's going to do, which is crash. Right, and old coins drop 40, 50 percent, or whatever. Uh, if the markets tank, so we have July 13th, July 27th, and July 28th. Right, the 13th is the CPI re inflation report, but I think our inflation might come in lower than expected, so that's going to create a surprise move upward. Then the real difficult part is Ju July 27th, and then the day after, the 28th. 27 is the FOMC uh, decision rate uh, meeting day, right? I'm actually not going to go live this time around. I actually kind of don't like uh, doing it too much, especially unless there's a lot of people waiting. So I think maybe I'll wait till like the channel's like 10,000 people and then we'll try it again. All right, because I don't like talking to myself on camera, right? Unless I'm doing something like this. So I want to be interacting with chat. If there's no one in chat, all right, and I'm not ta constantly talking to people, all right, then like what, what, what am I bothering with a live stream, you know? So, so we have the interest rate, and then the day after, right, we're going to get the official GDP report number, right, the first, the first version of quarter two, 2022, right, uh, of, of, of America for this year, all right, and we know that's going to be negative, and we're going to be in a recession, right, because so far, you know, the Atlanta GDP now is still saying we are in a recession, all right, they're just trying to figure out how much of a recession, so I'm thinking that will definitely probably cause some problems, all right, and definitely tank everything, including cryptocurrencies. However, that will not happen if either people already expect it, all right, because technically the bond markets are pricing that in. That's why the yield curve is constantly inverting in and out. Uh, or, you know, funny enough, it might actually skyrocket, all right? Why? Because... Well, you know, uh, people might go, oh, well, we're in a recession. That means the Fed has to cut rates. It's just very annoying. Now, this is interesting. So now, 
the interest rate is definitely going to go up by 75 basis points. And now the free market is now starting to price in a full 1% increase. So people are starting to think the int uh, inflation is like out of control. But we already know from this, right, from our own research, that commodities are actually, you know, kind of on their way down. Yeah, so aluminum didn't even do much yesterday. Uh, okay. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is all just... Uh, coal is up a lot. That's hilarious. Greta Thunberg is not going to be too happy to hear that. Hmm. Okay, well, we don't need to worry about these other metals, because... the well, All right, four. Crude oil... It, is crude oil actually up? Okay, crude oil is actually up. All right, soybeans. Now, soybeans are always pretty high. Last change was... 0.24 percent wheat it was up oh okay I can just look at I can look at over here so wheat was up 2.27 percent yesterday coal a little bit steel a little bit iron ore flat lumber was up 5.2 percent okay I still remember from yesterday the chart so I mean it went straight down it's gonna have to come back up a little bit but this is kind of surprising I did not I not okay so so yeah if we come in below expectation July 13th we're gonna go straight to the moon probably all right, because everyone's just dumping in and fudding because of inflation, all right? Because we have very high inflation, that means, you know, interest rates uh, are going to have to go up. So, yeah, I mean, I know Greg talks about a gap, right? Uh, but it turns out you really don't need to do that. The federal funds rate just needs to be high enough to start affecting, like, you know, mortgage rates and, like, the... Amount, the, in, the interest rate that you pay when you borrow money from the bank, right? So uh, the most common reason is a mortgage, right? But people borrow money for other reasons too, right? You know, isn't there an interest rate when you do like a lease on a car? Isn't there an interest rate when you do a lease on like products, right? You know, credit cards and all that stuff. So, you know, once it gets too high, then people are like, you know what? I'm not going to bo even bother buying this crap, right? And, and, and then it slows down economic activity, which is the intention. Usually that means a recession, and then inflation comes down because, oh, well, no one's buying anything. There's no more demand. Well, we got to bring prices down. Oh, when prices come down, well, obviously that's inflation coming down. Infl all inflation is is price increases. That's it. All right? It's just a matter of figuring out how do you want to deal with it. All right? So the easiest way is, all right, well, raise interest rates. <laughs> all right? It's actually not rocket science. All right, so I actually want to do other things, and I actually have to do the other the other videos. So let's just wrap this up. We'll just look at this real quick. We still don't have any updates because I don't know why the Fed is so slow in updating this. At least they're they're able to update the uh, Fed repo thing, like apparently. And we know. Oh yeah, we do have yesterday's number. Uh, slightly up. Okay, fine. All right. I can just look over here. June 28th, 2022. No updates. No updates. June 28th. No updates. June 14th. No updates. Great. We really need to know what the money supply is, the, mo the most updated one, because I need to see what the trend is. Because the trend, I'm, I guess I'll zoom in. The trend is flat or slightly going down, especially the M3 money supply. So I don't know what the hell is going on. All right. So overall, you know, it's looking like. I don't I mean, it's going to be a down day, it looks like. The U.S. debt market is, like, selling off yet again, maybe possibly imploding. Um, I figure central banks will get back in and buy it, uh, buy back the debt market. It's not quite severe just yet, though, so we'll just have to see, because, again, I mean, we did have a lot of explosive gains the past couple of days, so. All right. And, of course, you know, the Fed might actually, the central banks might just start buying up stocks again, so. All right, if you like what you... God, I don't want to do the old outro anymore. Um, like, subscribe, share this video around. Thank you again to all the old and new people uh, watching this channel and, of course, watching this video and subscribing. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Uh, normally, I would just do one video a day and then that's it, especially because I'm still recovering from being in the hospital. Now it's just really just sores 
you know, rashes that I got when I was at the hospital. Still very annoying to deal with. Uh, but we actually have a new project that we need to talk about. It's actually going to get added to the playlist. So you earn 1.5% <clears throat> fixed on your money. <clears throat> so I might have to just eat it like a half a piece of slice of bread because it's so annoying that my throat for some reason just gets like phlegm. I don't even know why. It is in the morning, so that's probably why. So uh, we'll talk about that in the next video. So I'll see you there. If not, I'll see you tomorrow, which is Friday. No, no, today is Friday. Oh, okay. So I'll see you on Monday then, I guess, for the next market stuff. So, yeah. Oh, that's right. If today is Friday, well, then, yeah. I mean, things generally are going to sell off because people just sell off positions and don't want to, you know, deal with the problem, All right? Because they don't want the whole risk over the weekend. Oh, and on top of that, today's options expiry day for weekly Ju July 8th. So it's going to always be a little bit, you know, volatile, too. So, okay. Yeah, so from what I can tell, I think it just is kind of normal for now. Just somewhat normal. Yeah, so. Uh, okay, all right, I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching, and hey, not bad. 16 minutes, 15 seconds.